Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install MySQL on Windows 11 operating system. The process is same for all Windows operating systems. Open browser, then go to mysql.com. This is the official website for MySQL. Click on downloads, then scroll down. See here we have MySQL community GPL downloads. Click on it. Click on MySQL installer for Windows. Here we have different packages for different operating systems. So click on MySQL installer for Windows. See the latest edition available at the time of making this video is 8.0.36 or 5.7.44. Okay. Operating system Microsoft Windows. See here we have web community and installer community. So click on this windows mysql installer community 8.0.36 msi file click on this download its a size is 285 megabytes click on download now it is asking to login but here see here no thanks just start my download so no need to login or sign up see download has been started go to downloads See, it's a size is 285 megabytes. Wait until this download completes. See, download is completed. Click on this MSI file. See, installation has been started. See, here we have different setup types. Full or custom see if you select full we have the mysql server mysql shell mysql router mysql workbench documentation and samples and examples okay suppose if you select custom then we have to select the components so i want to go with full so no need to install server or client then click on next see it is going to install these six components okay or six products click on execute See, installation has been started. See, products installation completed. Click on next. See, now we are going to configure MySQL server and MySQL router. See, this is the default port that is double three zero six if you want to change you can change if you want to configure named pipe you have to select it you have to shared memory you have to select them then if you want to see the advanced configuration click on it see then you will be able to see the like authentication method account controls windows service server file permissions logging options advanced options and apply configuration so i want to configure advanced logging option also so click on next also see here config type we have development and computer server computer or dedicated computer so select based on your requirement and your pc configuration or machine configuration so i'm going with the first one then click on next click on next authentication i'm going with use strong password encryption then click on next provide the password for mysql root password this is the password for root user okay you have to remember this password then click on so see it is saying pass weak password so i am giving strong password see now we are able to click on next or if you want to add the user you have to click on add user you can create the user here also at present i am not going to create user so click on cancel then click on next See, this is the Windows service name, which will be there in Windows services application. Run Windows services standard system account or custom account. Both are select based on your requirement. I am going with the standard one, then click on next. Server file permissions, I want to grant full access. So click on next. This is the name of the error log file. If you want to change, see, it will be stored in this path. If you want to change, you can change. Query, query log, this is the query log file and this is the binary file 
okay i'm not going to change this default values so click on next server id i'm going with next see this is the summary so click on execute to apply the ch these changes or if you want to modify you have to click on back then modify and come forward okay click on next click on execute this won't take much time if you want to see the logs you can see here see these are the logs for these operations it is success so click on finish or if you want to copy these logs control a or select it and click select all and copy then click on finish now click on next see this is the product configuration information click on if you want to bootstrap you have to select these options otherwise uncheck it and click on finish click on next provide the password of root user that we have provided click on check it is success connection is succeeded then click on next click on execute it is going to apply the changes click on finish then click on next if you want to copy the log to clipboard you have to click on this copy log to clipboard see here these two check boxes start mysql branch after setup when we finish this one it will open the mysql log branch also it will open the mysql cell after setup so you want to open both then click on finish see this is the mysql cell and this is the mysql workbench now we will see how to connect to this mysql workbench see here we have the local host click on it then provide the password that we have provided click on ok see sakila and world are default databases or sample databases comes with mysql server installation suppose if you want to create a new database right click and click on create schema then provide the name here i am giving r2 schools then click on apply see this is the script okay click on apply click on finish also notice here before click on apply already schema database has been created see here we have the admin menu and schemas menu okay you want to perform admin activities you have to click on this admin suppose if you want to create users see these are the users available suppose if you want to add user you have to click on add user then you have to provide the username okay this is one way we can also create users by going to query window database or schema click on sql now if you want to create user you have to click on you have to type the sql script okay the second option to connect to mysql server is mysql shell it is there in all programs all files all applications programs mysql mysql see here we have the mysql shell okay i am already there in mysql this is mysql js mode so try to run see here we are unable to find the information so to connect to mysql we have to give slash backslash connect to then username username is root then localhost then provide the password of root user that we have provided at the time of installation enter then slash sql now run so databases this is the way to switch to sql mode in mysql shell suppose if you want to create a table in after schools database now we switch it to after schools now create a table create table student s number int s name where care put semicolon at the end of the sql statement see it is success now verify the table show tables see we have one table you can also verify from this mysql workbench see table is created suppose if you create one more table with the same syntax just give students add one more column to this table tob date and hit enter see one more table is created but show tables 
see table is created but see here we are unable to find right click on click on refresh all see one more table is there so in this video we have seen how to download and install mysql server 8.0.36 on windows 11 operating system then we have seen how to connect to mysql server using mysql workbench and mysql shell then we have seen how to create a database and tables in that database the process is same for all windows operating systems for more mysql videos please subscribe my channel thank you